Marines arrested them in an army skirmish. Yeah, they're not scared of that because I'm heading them. It looks like my army is actually going to head there in a little bit weird fashion. But it's actually for, formally... Okay. You guys get back into land. Land grants because we need to go take down that Persian army. Um, yes. Okay. Come on. Come on. Don't let that Cochlean army beat you. Please. It's going to be quite embarrassing for both of us if they beat you. Okay, good. Okay, now let's see. They're moving right over there. We can move right over there. Sadar is going to solidify that we have this land. Um, my troops are healing up in there. By the time these two combine, they have to instantly go after these guys because we don't want them to do anything. I'm hoping maybe Sadar will help me out by taking them on. But then I'm also worried about if Sadar can actually take those kind of troops. We're killing off the rest of the Cochlin troops, which are... Quite well forced, for I say, for a uh, steppy bandit kind of place. Um, of course, we won. They apparently are retreating into more of their land. I guess we're gonna have a final stand, final fight on their own home turf. Turf. Okay. Never mind. We have to just quickly go after the. Uh, let me see if they'll arrive at the same date. And yeah, we really, we have to go directly after the. Uh, Persians. We don't want them to conquer any land. So once they start conquering land, then this becomes a big, gigantic castle. A big, gigantic castle, which then could definitely just escalate, escalate, escalate. And we only have this much time before the other... Okay. Yeah, they, I don't think they're going to make it. I don't think so. I don't... I don't... No, 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 no! Oh! Ooh, that was lucky! Not... Maybe not so, because now my men are now dying with... with gusto but yes okay now my men is still gonna die wait 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 no my men are gonna die they did not get good modifiers yep that's the way the cookie crumbles did I put the bad commander in no I got the good commander in charge it's just ooh yeah I tried I tried not doing both armies it didn't work well at least the is doing okay I was kind of worried that the army would just actually cause the death of me, but, um, yeah, it looks like we just got pwned by the, uh, opposite, so I'm just gonna go back, heal up my army, in the only province that actually works, East Afghanistan, I love that province, and over here, at least I weakened these guys enough to where they won't, okay, so wanted, sell high, sell low, what, it doesn't even matter, so right now, the, the reactionaries are doing stuff, I don't really care, Right now, we almost have a lot of the land conquered. Um, Cochrane is kind of annoying me with the fact they have their own army. Um, actually, they can go build their own army all I care. I have to go send my troops down here to go finish off the uh, Persian army. Because right now, the Persians are basically defeated. And we need to make sure that they stay basically defeated. Because they're the big army we have to worry about. I mean, Cochrane is an okay-sized army. But right now, it's going to take them about a couple months before they build up. And in that time, we should be done with this war. I mean, we lost one war, one battle, and that means, wow, we have to do so much to get this war score up. In fact, we might even be able to take two territories because it looks like this crisis is actually turning out to be an even one. <sighs> I hope, I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to be an even crisis to where they actually go to war because then that's going to be a great day for me because then I don't have to worry about anything and dang let me guess I'm now gonna have a war a war torn um okay now we're definitely in un I'm hoping I'm hoping that Sadal realizes that should start to engage some of these armies in a one on one battle because this is starting to become a lot more than what we can deal with. Yes. Yes, and then my army's coming in to also destroy the rest of these Persian armies. Yeah, they didn't even need my help, really. But I was... My men came in anyways. We're here. Yeah. Okay, my men back here are healing up. We have lots of dead men. <laughs> lots of dead men. Over here, we have some people trying to take over Bakura. I'm not really particularly fond of that, but it's not really like I can really do anything. Um, Where are you guys going? I'm basically... I wish there was in this game we could link up. Okay, link up. Link up with these guys. I'm just going to have these guys follow Sadaf for a little bit. I am I know that might not be the smartest idea, but we needed to kind of stick together and make sure that our armies combined 
just keep destroying all these newly built Persian armies. Which, um, speaking of which, um, I need to build some more armies. Like, let's see. Let's see, what do I have in terms of, um, national focus. No, I want to get recruitment. Recruitment. Okay, so obviously I oversaturated, so what I'm going to do is, I'm still recording, is, um, is I'm going to encourage soldiers in these places, because I need some soldiers. Alright, we destroyed those guys. Hopefully you guys will not sit down and do that. That is definitely a bad idea. Okay, I'm going to unclick you guys. going to move you guys out of there, because right now they're building up a big gigantic army to come take me down, which is not a good idea. Yes! Okay, we engage this army. We're going to destroy it, okay? Uh, we have to make sure that they do not have anything to supply. Because right now that army is bigger than mine. Which is scary because I don't even have another army to fight it with. Most of my other army is dead. Um, it would, if I get it to Lahore, it might heal up a little bit better. But this... Hmm, it's still a very tense situation because we still have to deal with... Um, I'm going to like increase militaristic spending to a good amount because I have enough right now to probably keep the war going for a little bit hopefully I mean we should be paying for everything let me also do some construction construction to a maximum because apparently construction doesn't cost me anything um yeah we should be paying for everything come on we have to heal some of our troops too which is also is, is critically important right now like legitly critically important if we do not heal up all of our troops it will affect us actually let's go right here and start healing up some of our troops maybe that will help um, you guys move up there, because now apparently they're both now fine army men. Um, over here, the Cochrane troops, of course, have to be jerks about stuff. And, oh, ooh. Okay, we have to join this battle. Ooh, I probably should have, probably should have made sure about this. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so yep, the AI in this game definitely does have a brain. They definitely know when to do things. Yeah, we're all going to go hit the uh, Persians up so that they'll destroy their only army, which is a good idea. It's a severely good idea. We just hit them up, and now we're just going to keep destroying them all around here. And, oh man, this, this, this is such great. Okay, and both these armies apparently seem to be healing, which is good. I'm going to go send this army actually up north to go deal with whatever conquest land the Cochrane people do. Um... Oh man, we're getting extremely lucky here. That's all, that's all I gotta say. We're getting extremely lucky here. And, um, whew. I'm, I'm gonna be happy when this episode comes out because this is turning out to be a really good episode. I'm, I'm still not adding any more war goals because I know then that would be really... I'm, I'm pushing my luck as it is because at any point right now, the uh, Russians, Germans, French, whatever you want to call them, could definitely declare war on me and end this war, which would be a catastrophe if you must know. It'd be an all out, all right catastrophe. An all out catastrophe. So I'm just going to conquer this land right over here. Then I'm going to use that 15k army to go down, help those little Sidedian men to conquer the rest of that land. Then we're going to move on even further up into Persian land. Yeah, you see the Cochrane probably conquered one region, which is probably affecting our war score. Yeah, but at least we got most of Acquire Artesian. Who put down Sada? Cut Kimneva down. Really? No. Oh, great. So now I have to worry about Sada being a jerk, and that could definitely end this campaign because then that could give a provocation. Because we just the main thing we have to worry about is we don't want to provoke any nations into any, or any great powers to interfere in this. We want to make this as a small of a war as possible, or at least under the radar war, where they won't really think much of it, no matter what we do. Okay, these guys are gonna finish up before these guys, so we're definitely gonna be able to finish. And you know, hit. Okay, now that we got this, let's go up here. Okay, take down these guys. Take down this army. Okay, yeah, then I, then I've been moving, so they obviously feel confident. But yeah, the confidence just killed them. Cause now I got fully. Yeah. Okay, you guys go up there, heal yourselves. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to kill these guys too, and then I'll have good. I have a good amount of army right next. No, no, there's no way you guys can escape that. No way. I, I call... Oh. Should I still... Okay. 
this army is deciding to move over there um, this is where I'm gonna have to break off because we actually need to go right here yeah we need it we need to kind of suspend them okay we're gonna try to what we're gonna try to do is kind of do a clever thing which is we're gonna try to bait them into attacking us and then we're gonna try to crush them with our bonuses aside we should have enough to protect ourselves dang it thank you thank you thank you stupidity of ward of the year so if they can hold their line long enough that's all we have to wait for come on guys hold your line hold your line yes no and eh, I'm gonna go hit him anyways and that was the worst okay retreat 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 no nope. Wow, I just lost like almost all my men in that one battle because I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do it anyways. And I probably got my war score up to really weird. So, um, right now, I mean, we're doing still pretty good. We still have the majority of them defeated. But right now I have only one army, which is not a good sign. Let's see, what are we doing in terms of recruitment? Did my... Encourage soldiers work. It did encourage soldiers. So I can actually start recruiting more men. So, let's build another big gigantic pen nabby Y army. Four, five, six, six. Okay, I'll build six. And then two horsemen. That way we have two horsemen. Okay. Now, once that army comes in, we should have a still evenly matched numbers. And I'm still worried about the Russians. The Russians are still, are still creepy. Okay, we just took back that land. That should mean, yeah, we have an 8% modifier to everything. Um, I'm going to go move these soldiers down here. Because I think Cochrane's basically done. I think they, they don't have any more soldiers that we have to mess with. And I have to make sure that these Sid troops keep conquering. And that we keep, like, making sure we bring the hurt to the uh, Persians. Because that was a bad battle. That was a bad militaristic mistake on my part. I admit it full hand. I should not have done that. I should definitely not have done that, but I was, uh, by that time, I was too cocky, I was a little bit too confident in our own talent, so, oh, you gotta be kidding me, are they really inventing one more army, man, okay, we're gonna have to deal with that in a second, I'm hoping, what I'm gonna hope is that these 21 troops will engage me in combat right here, this will probably be the most defensible Okay, let me see if they if they are scared of us. That would be really nice to know. They are not scared of us, so I'm gonna try to intercept their path. Okay, when are they gonna get there? The six, my guys are gonna get there. The yeah, that's exactly what we need. Cause I think what I think is gonna happen is with my modifier of protection, of uh, you know having troops and having oh great great that's that's not gonna work. That's oh wait. No, no, somehow the Persians pulled out a really, really... How did they get that much? Okay, retreat, yes. Okay, we can at least retreat, that's the best part, is that we can at least retreat. They're probably going to stay there. How did they get 22,000 men, though? I, I, I'm i wondering this right now. I don't know how they got 22,000 men. Like, just out of the blue, like, just 22,000 men. Boom, put down on your soldier mat. That was weird. Okay, that just like cost us another big battle, but it didn't really seem to affect us that much. Um, we seem to be making our new army down here, which is great. Um, I'm a, my my national focus of encouraging militaristic men is going quite well, and due to all the deaths, we are increasing our militaristic spending, which is I guess a good thing in the short term aspect. It is a good thing. Um, long term. We probably should get that fixed. Okay, I'm gonna move actually you guys out of the front, the border. Um, basically it's up to the Sid troops to finish off the Persians. I can't. Apparently my army is just not strong enough to do it, and it's been proven many times that my army is pretty dang weak when it comes to this kind of stuff. So we're gonna retreat back into our own territory. Um, and this is this is not correct. Yeah, there we go. I was like, I know when I know my territory isn't that great. But the good thing though is. Is that we have our second army being built up as we speak and it looks pretty good um yeah this is why it was a completely in terms of busting it was yeah this was completely red this like completely cost us a lot 
Um, I'm gonna go send you guys to go kill those Cochlean troops, because I know once they get the footing, they'll just stay there, and now stink. And these 18,000 are still messing up the Persians' conquest, which is helping us in the long run. Another internal crisis has, has gone up with Albania, and I'm hoping, again, as usual happens, that, every, that everyone decides they want to join in. Yes, they do. That gives us even more time to do stuff. But right now we're having a really, really close war due to my own stupidity. I mean, this honestly probably wouldn't be that close of a war if it wasn't because I did those stupid mistakes, honestly. If, if we must be honest with here, my mistakes just cost us a little bit of the war. And I'm sorry for that. In a very small way, I am sorry for costing us another, like, couple months of pain and heartache. Um, the Persians, though, definitely are fighting back. They definitely live up to their days of old when they used to fight Alexandria, except when they lost. Um, it is becoming increasingly harder to keep our territory, though, and I'm gonna go kill these Scotland and troops. Just, okay, I've got 15,000 right there, 21,000 right there, plus these 23,000. We should, once we kill these Scotland troops, I'm not, like I said, I'm not finishing up until these Scotland troops are dead, because every time I leave the Scotland troops alone, they somehow conquer all my land, so. I'm gonna send both armies up there to go individualize kill these guys yeah there we go yeah there we go okay now they both are dead now we're both gonna go be sent in to go try to go save some of our conquered land wait stop right now gain some more men go in keep going up we're gonna go send both of these armies combined I believe would destroy the entire like Persian army ooh ooh can I get them in probably not I probably cannot get them in time uh, the Sid troops are, this is, this is the moment to sign. Can they actually prove to me that they do not deserve to be con- Nope, they just proved to me that they do deserve to be conquered. Because, wait, that actually does help us out because even if the Persians do survive this, they're gonna be severely weakened. So then, yeah, look at that, six troops. Oh my goodness, I'll be able to take these guys on no matter what they do. I mean, these guys have to be running. Yep. And now I will be able to destroy them because they made that mistake of attacking while I was still in power. And even though the Sid troops are all dead, look at that. Look at that conquest of their precious army. And I'm going to hunt these guys down because that's the rightful thing to do. And now we basically, yeah, the war is turned back into our favor. We have the war back into our favor. I have my next army being built over here. I, I don't know how well balanced this is. Do we have any cavalry? We do have a lot more cavalry, so we don't need a balance there. And did we destroy them? We did. So I'm going to move back. I'm going to destroy these guys to make sure they do not, you know, disembowel our conquest. How are we doing in terms of wars? We don't have all of it, but we have enough of, of this place. Okay, so they're going to move. That's good. We just need to We just need to reset their conquest so that they didn't, you know, take anything. So let's see, we have another reforms we can do, but I'm not really focusing on that. Um, whew. Those internal crises, baby. I'm so enjoying them right now. Okay, so we have enough men. I'm going to go send these guys to go destroy any, any, um, any, like, Najed troops that may try to, like, conquer back land. I may go help these guys go keep some land. Right now... As soon as we conquer this territory, we should have enough of... No, wait, no, we won't. We need to conquer two more territories, and then we have enough to take over. Then we have enough to get Ticking War score again, which is, you know, always nice. Always, always very nice. And... Um, I'm going to see if I can individually peace out some of these, like Cochland. Would you guys like to be peaced out? No. They definitely want to fight to the bitter end. Which is always a good thing to see, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um... I don't want us to see that, but I guess they definitely do want to fight to the end. And if they do actually raise an army, I actually do have enough now. Ooh. Albania acquires all core states province. So everyone, Albania has been formed! And Greece apparently took a little bit more because I know that was not a part of the original conquest. Which, now I'm starting to get worried because now, um... If... If one of those great powers, as I've said before, somehow joins in... We could definitely have a big, gigantic, big problem. One that could potentially kill us all in a very quick succession because we have the Russians right there, right at our borders. 
at least future borders, and that could definitely affect a lot of us. Um, but it doesn't seem like they're willing or able to join in. That's good. Um, we're just now taking over as much of Persia as we can. Um, oh god. Not that event again. Please, nothing but that event. Um, the British are still happy to see us. Not willing to do an alliance, so always great to hear. Um, but we still have... Uh, this, this is such a tense war because I know if I mess up once, th this is this is basically the la like I said this is basically the last time we'll, we'll be able to do the conquer territory because yeah let's go take out that new Persian army that they're trying to make yeah let's take down the capital that probably could give us a lot of taking war score um, but this is basically the last if we don't gain like a little bit of footing right now into Persia then we will never be able to gain any footing into Persia which then this game becomes a little bit mute in my opinion because there's not much we can really do to like try to fight against um the uh British in the future which of course is our ultimate plan because we definitely want to form the mighty Indian Empire that is the all time or the ultimate dream of ours is to form India so it's going to be fair and I'm wondering should I try to add another war goal that is also the question Having this iron right here could help us. What regions would I have to take though to get it? Basically I'd have to make my empire very, very oblong to take it. It would add a lot of infamy to me. Um, 11, 24, I could barely take the infamy hit if I did do it. Hmm. I, I don't know if I should push my luck. You know what, I'll, I'll see. Cause I don't know if I don't know if it's worth pushing my luck yet. We don't as long, we don't have to push my luck. Let's just say that. And I'm gonna destroy these like men that are starting to gather in this one province. But you know what? These guys are stupid. Okay, never mind. The Sid have them. Sid has it all under control. That's good. I'm gonna go have these men move over to the Persian capital. And ooh, are you guys about ready to admit defeat? Seriously, Persia, like you guys are defeated. I defeated you. I, you don't have to cut down Kiva. I think that was a stupid... <sighs> they will accept the conditions. <sighs> you know what? I think I'm going to end the episode here. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. This was a quite intensive episode. We, we won, but it's a question of do we want to take anything else... Or do you want to stay here? Maybe tell me in the comments what you guys think. And we'll go from there. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Um, glory to Allah, everyone. Glory to the Indian dream. And glory to Allah. Okay. See you guys later.